on the set of Hawaii Five-0, Daniel Day Kim and Terry O'Quinn are hardly lost. It's in Hong Kelly, right? Producers cast Kim as a regular in season one. This year, they offered O'Quinn a recurring role. Sounds like we got a lot of work ahead of us. Now the two are back shooting scenes in familiar territory in Hawaii. And right back there, I remember paddling in season number six, that big eight-man canoe with nothing but a headwind and a scowl. <laughs> the old show launched bigger careers for them. You think they're watching? Let's hope so. And experience helps on 5-0, where they work with many old crew members. Yeah, you get more relaxed. I like to call people like Terry savvy veterans, you know, guys who've who've been there and done that and kind of understand where we are in the, in, in the larger context of things. In, in front of him, that's what he likes to call him. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Run back. Roll. After Lost, Kim stayed in the islands. O'Quinn lives in LA, but he still keeps both a house on North Shore and that island attitude. I also remember one year where we were at an awards show and you know, you could tell how much Hawaii had gotten into Terry's spirits because he was wearing a tuxedo with slippers. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that's Hawaii right yeah, there. Yeah, but they, had, but they had rhinestones on them. <laughs> so they were special. They, they, were, were, they yeah. were my dress up. They were my <laughs> dress up slippers. After being lost in the islands for years, they've now found a new scene together on Hawaii 5 0. Got it? Yeah, cut it. Clear. In Kualoa, Terry Okita, Hawaii News Now. Hawaii.